Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Panikar, specialized in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, pediatrics, allergies, and infertility. And uh, this is our first clinic in Bangalore. Pica is an abnormal craving for indigestible substances. Normally, when we start liking something, we just call it craving. But when the craving becomes for abnormal things which we normally don't eat, then it is called pica. Like for example, it is very commonly seen during pregnancy that women can have craving for different things. The most common thing that people can crave for is pickles and raw rice. But craving for pickle is, to an extent it is okay, but beyond an extent it is again called as pica. And in children, again this kind of a craving can be there. And the indigestible things can range from, you know, sand, mud, clay, paint, glass, metals and so many other things. So this is not actually good for the body. It is basically an indicator that there is some particular deficiency. Very often it is seen in children with deficiencies like zinc and iron deficiencies. In anemia there can be craving. Craving for raw rice is often an indication of anemia. And again it can happen in um, parasitosis where there is a parasitic infestations, worm trouble, children can have abnormal cravings. The other reason why children can develop pica is because of some kind of an emotional trauma like some problems happening in the family, parental neglect or not getting enough love from the parents. This can reflect in terms of um, pica. It is also seen in a condition called as autism where children can have pica. Eating raw rice can cause a lot of problems like um, when people have this kind of pica and they eat a lot of quantity of raw rice. Raw rice contains certain substance called as cellulose. Cellulose is not good for, uh, I mean it is not a substance which can be digested easily. So that's why it can cause a heaviness feeling, it can cause nausea sensation because of eating excess of raw rice. When you boil it, cellulose is broken down and that's why it becomes easier. Same way, the rice has got a component called as lecithin. It is a kind of an insecticide which is inbuilt in rice and we break it down when we boil it. But if it is not boiled and it is eaten raw, then this lecithin itself can cause indigestion, can cause nausea, vomiting like sensation and all those things. Again, there are certain bacteria in raw rice which can compete with the normal bacteria which is there in your intestine and thus can prevent the absorption of nutrients. Normal bacteria help in digestion so that nutrients can be absorbed properly. But when this bacteria of raw rice competes with the other bacteria, healthy bacteria, then this process gets obstructed. So eating raw rice can cause problems like that. And thus patients often come up with symptoms like weakness, uh, feeling nausea vomiting, feeling heaviness in the stomach, indigestion, uh, maybe some patients even come up with loose motions and vomiting. So these are the common uh, problems to the eating raw rice.